Hey guys, Chris here, also known as Warchild V1, back with another Bloodborne walkthrough video. Um, in this video, we're going to Nightmare Frontier. There's a lot to be done in the Nightmare Frontier. So we're going to go there and do it, because there are some great items here. So let's kick it off. Unfortunately, at this point of the game, if I really wanted to... I could, uh, I thought I saw a wandering madness. I'm just seeing things. At this point of the game, I could beat the game in an hour or less from here. If I wasn't doing a walkthrough and showing you everything. Um, there are a lot of these here, by the way. You can kill them. And that woman is ringing a bell, which is calling in invaders to your world. I'm going to show you straight how to get to her and kill her. If you run past this enemy... Well, we have an invader, so let's go ahead and have us a little PvP battle, and then I'll show you. But I'm going to show you how, in case you're having a problem with invasions here. Alright. Now, his weapon's most likely all maxed and stuff. His weapon is, uh... Burial Blade. You have to actually get to the end of the game to get one of those. Nice. He just kicked my ass, too. Good game, sir. He's wearing the full Kanehurst set. But uh, that's PvP for you. It can totally look like it's going one way and then turn around on you at, you know, a split second. And that's what happened to me just now. Uh, I don't know where my echoes are. Oh, this guy has them. Alright. So she's ringing that sinister bell again. This guy's dropping me some more uh, gemstones. All right, I'm going to show you how to get to her to stop her from ringing the bell. She's, well, she's close. Um, if you come down this way, and then from here, I believe you have to drop down even more. She's over on that ledge right there. Never mind, I have to cross a bridge. Never mind. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, do I? Um... To kill her, you have to get over here. There's that bridge. And, um, easiest route to cross it. We're just gonna go do this real quick. And then we'll have a lot to do in this level after we do this. Oh, actually, she, she's right there. Thought she was somewhere else. Um, you get to her by going this way. But there are there are a couple hunters here that don't like you, by the way. So watch out for them. But she's right here. I was thinking of a different area. If you kill her, then you aren't going to be getting invaded here anymore. Um, that's all there is to that. Um, now... I'm going back towards the beginning of the level. So we can take it on in a different order than just running up to all of them at once. Well, I'm most likely going to die first. I don't normally just run through the level to do something like that. Shit. One thing I hate about this level is that there's shit on the floor everywhere that gets in your way. Alright, we're good get hung on everything is all. Now, unfortunately, once you kill that bell ringer, I believe she's dead dead. Like, I don't think she comes back now. So if you're planning on doing PvP, then you just kind of killed your chance for getting invaded here. Now, if you don't care about PvP, then there you go. You're good. Um, I actually truly enjoy PvP. I just had a horrible match, as you guys saw. I really enjoy it. Um, this build will ultimately become a PvP build. Um, I'm just wondering where my stuff is. 
Go ahead and go kill this guy that's sitting. He's got my stuff. Dude's got my blood echoes. And you automatically aggro this dude right here from going down this way. Once you get these guys down to half life, they get on the ground and then they are mean bastards. So watch out for that. Um, these bigger ones, that's a wandering madness that can actually hurt you, so watch out. But the bigger ones drop the better items. Um, this guy drops twins. There are two of them that I'm aware of in this area that actually drop you um, chunks. Uh, only two that I'm aware of, though. Alright, well, we're going to just slowly make our way through here. Um, we knocked this guy down, so I just wanted to get that. Uh, there's going to be an elevator right here once we get towards the end of the level. So that will take us all the way back to the end, back to the boss, basically. Alright, so this is the direction that we were coming from. Uh, we just killed a guy here, a guy came from right over here, and then that's where I went and killed that madness at. The small wandering madnesses in this level just seem useless to me because they only give you just regular bloodstone shards. They don't give you anything good. I mean, those things don't even cost you much to buy. I didn't think about it. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. I was going to say, but there's a hunter right there. You can see that. You can see his fire. We're about to aggro him. There he is. Um, I'm going to get him onto this bridge. If we can kill one before the other gets here, it makes it a lot easier. Because you really have two hunters coming for you at this point. I guess they're buddies. So if you can kill one first, then it's a lot easier when the second one comes. Here he comes. Lead elixir. It makes uh, enemies' weapons bounce off of you. And you take less damage, but it makes you slower too. You can't run anymore. That's both those hunters. Once they're dead, they're dead. They're not going to come back for you. Alright, so we just got done crossing this little bridge. And, um... I guess first things first. See, these little guys, they're pointless, like I said. Let's see. Two bloodstone shards. Yay! We just saved a few echoes from buying a couple, you know. Um, this right here, you want to actually jump, because if you just drop, you're going to fall down in a hole. So you want to jump this. Or roll it, whatever. We're only going over here for an item. Fading Lake. Fading Lake is... Fire damage reduction, plus five. So that could be useful. Um, let's go ahead and drop down where we would have fallen if we didn't roll. To get a madman's knowledge. I gotta keep looking around to see where I'm at. Somewhere, oh yeah, inside this hole. There it is. Let's say somewhere there's another enemy. And he's already on uh, all fours. That's usually what they do when they get half dead. Um, I'm going to go in this hole where he was at. This is a good place where if you don't want stuff like that getting thrown at you, you can drink a blue elixir. Um, like I mentioned in an earlier video, if you drink elixir, they don't see you till you get close. Um, it's good for ranged enemies. That way, they're not throwing shit at you, because these guys can actually kill you. Um, but basically, we're just going to make our way up. Tempering blood gemstone. We're getting a lot of gemstones right now. There we go. Yeah, 
There we go. Much easier. Less enemies. So we're just working our way up is all. We're about to unlock a shortcut back to the beginning of the level. And then we're going to go get an awesome ass rune. Like the best rune in the game, I believe. I believe they put this guy here just so you'll follow him. Because if you walk all the way to the edge of this, it turns into a shortcut. Don't drop off until that happens, though, because otherwise you got to go all the way back around. Well, we're back towards the beginning of the level. The beginning is right over this way. We came from over there somewhere. So, now, instead of going down there and fighting two guys, you can go up here. And uh, that's a shortcut back to where we were just at. Alright, so there's a bridge right here. Very important bridge. And do you notice this guy? It's Pate. Yay, it's Pate. Our best friend Pate. The guy from the lecture building. And some shiny coins that were probably put there by Pate. He's a trusting fellow. Right? Blood vials. I don't believe there's anything in here that's useful for me. Not yet, until we decide that we want to drop down, then there's useful stuff, so... We don't want to do that right now. So instead of this, we just came from the bridge right there. We want to make our way into this tunnel, and then curve to the right. Because right here is one of the most important runes in the game, in my opinion. Clockwise Metamorphosis, um... That is your plus 10% HP. So if you wear both of these, then you have 15% more HP than you would have had. It's good stuff, it really is. One of the more useful items in the game. I would go that way. Well, there's items, whatever. I'm gonna let Pate get me, by the way. There's a stunning deep sea. Which is rapid poison resistance plus 200. Ton of enemies in here. Just take them all out. They're not hard to kill. There's some frenzy cold blood. All of that murky water down there is poisonous. All those enemies crawling around are actually easy to kill though. So it's really not that bad. Um, you just gotta watch out for the rock throwers. Yeah, take a step forward and projectile await. That guy right there hurts like hell, so watch out. He throws those giant rocks. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go down here and start the mess. First, let's go kill him. You kill him by... Somewhere over this way. Yeah, it's a tunnel. That I believe takes us straight to him. Oh, nope, not this tunnel. Let's see, if you came from the lantern, then you come in from that side. Yeah, I hate all these things that get in your way so you can't just walk. You're already limited because you're stuck in this nasty murk, but now you can't walk because you got freaking tombstones in your way or rocks or whatever the hell they are. These guys have a chance to drop you blood echoes. There we go. I was kind of waiting on that to show you. 
Alright, this guy's uh, tunnel must be this way. Yep, there he is. Clear deep sea. And the guy that's about to die. He was just trying to kill me, so why not, right? Alright, this clear deep sea. We just got a stronger slow poison resistance is about all. We still have one more guy throwing shit at us from down there. Not a big deal. He can't see us all the time because of where he's located. Okay, let's go ahead and get down from here. Um, you can get up on any of these little platforms out here that have items on them. Like that. I'm not sure if that guy can actually see me. Um, there's always a way up. Like this one. This is not your way up. Uh, <laughs> but somewhere. Maybe this? I don't think so, though. No. Yeah, but somewhere there's always a way up. Antidote's very useful. Now, somewhere in here is another tunnel that's very useful. And we want to get some sedatives ready. This is our other very useful tunnel, I believe. Basically, if you go for Pate's Trap, you get knocked down here. So, just keep that in mind. Pate's Trap knocks you right down here. Basically, right here, I think. Little elixir. Antidote. I don't use many antidotes here just because you're going to get poisoned again, you know? Until you get out of the water, what's the point of healing yourself? That's the way I look at it. I mean, heal yourself, but what's the point of curing your poison if you're stuck in this murk anyways? Just going to get poisoned again, you know? He dropped. Twins, that's what I thought. Most of the big ones only drop twins. I'll show you where the two are that, that don't, that drop in chunks. There are some that drop in chunks. Uh, only two that I'm aware of, though. Like I said, I've uh, been through this level a lot. Alright, keep following your path. It's gonna get dangerous here in a minute. That guy. Watch out for that guy. Alright, hurts like hell. <gasps> I can't believe it actually hit me. I'm gonna die right now. I can't believe it actually got me. Yeah. I thought I dodged it. I guess you have to dodge a little later than that. Well, that's okay, because this time I can show you how to actually get down there without you getting all confused on where I went. You know. I'm just going to run past all these. No point. No point in fighting at the moment. Come down this way. If you stay to the left, here's that shortcut that we opened. If you go over this bridge, this is where we saw Pate and got the awesome rune. And if you go over here where these shiny coins are, there's an awesome item. Maybe. And Pate did exactly what he's known for.
Yep, that's exactly what he's known for, is being a prick. He always kicks you down some big pit. Always. He's kind of a little ongoing joke with him. That's what he does. Alright, so we're just gonna... Go the wrong way in the tunnel. Yep, going the wrong way. I'm rolling because it seems faster than this. This is as fast as we can move. This is running. I don't know, maybe this is faster. Maybe, I don't know. So I would have survived the brain attack if it weren't for being poisoned. Too bad, right? If I still had some blood from Adela, or not Adela, the church lady, I don't remember her name. If I still had her blood, I could have used it and it would have continued healing me. And that would have been what to do to not die there, I guess. Either way, though, this time I'm not going to get hit. Hopefully. All right, it's right in here on the other side of this. Move! All right, good. She's dead, and the frenzy hit me. Frenzy takes a percentage of your life, and it hit me hard. I was planning on curing it with sedatives, but it was too late. Here's the only reason I came back here. It's for the messenger gifts. Basically, if you have enough HP, or, uh, Arcane, which I do not, it turns you into messengers. Takes 10 Arcane, which isn't much, but then you look exactly like these guys on the ground. Uh, you turn into them and you can kind of sneak around that way. It doesn't really help, though. Like, if you're playing the game, if you're doing PvE, in other words, just playing through the, the game, these enemies seem to ignore it, so... It's kind of pointless. It's more of a troll item for PvP, I believe. Alright, so let's get out of this Merc. We still have more stuff to do in this level. I gotta go show you where the other... Uh, where the other... Uh, chunks are. You know, there's a couple chunks here in this level. I'm gonna show you where that is. I think there's a total of four chunks. I believe we're gonna go grab those and then we got us a boss to fight and I believe that's really all of the main items here we already got the good stuff alright go straight across I believe from here straight across should take me to where I need to go watch out you got guys throwing shit at you including that guy right there this was the last asshole that was left um, let's go ahead and grab this item because I can't help but pick up items. Flower bud. Uh, Alright, don't get hit from here on because I'll die. Alright, I'm good. That flower bud is good for um, chalice dungeons. The dude is pissed. Alright, be careful right here, because you have another freaking brain that's gonna frenzy you. And dodge late. If the trick is to dodge late. Alright, right after you kill that brain, if you turn around and walk this way, that's the wrong path. Right after you kill that brain, if you drop down and then walk this way, Uh-oh. It's not here. Well, I'll show you. Um, just like before, it's a wandering madness, so just like before, if it's not here, 
quit and reload. That's all. Oh, no, no, no. It's that pathway down there, I believe. Maybe? I don't know. No, it's not. I just kind of scared it away, I guess. When I came for the brain. Must have. Even though I never have before. Even though I never have before. Yeah. Had to have. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Stand right here. I'm gonna quit the game and reload to respawn the Wandering Madness. And we're back. Alright, the Wandering Madness is above like I thought the first time. Not this one. I mean, you can kill that one if you want. More bloodstone shards. We already killed the brain, so don't have to worry about... Even though I hear the brain. I heard a brain. Here it is. What the... Dude, this is it, right here. You get two chunks from this thing. I didn't kill it. And I didn't get my chunks either. That's it, that's the wandering madness that you get two chunks from. Very, very disappointing. I'm gonna try this one more time. Let's see, let's see. Nope, he's dead, he's right here. Alright, so I got gypped. Hopefully this doesn't happen to you guys. Because that guy right there has two chunks. See, usually they smoke like that when they're alive, not when they're dead. He keeps smoking. They usually do that when they're about to disappear. Whatever. So that dude has two chunks, as well as... Another one that's down this way. I don't know why I keep hearing that. That's the sound of a brain. I don't know what other brain there is in this level. Either way though, if you follow this pathway down... For one, we got us uh, a madman's knowledge, and for two, if you follow this pathway up, you have one enemy, some blood vials, you have one enemy, which let's let him come on down. Come on down to the price is right. We're at a shortcut, so you really don't want to die right here. You really don't want to die. So if it makes you feel better, you can run past that guy or something. But you don't want to die here, because this gets you the elevator back to the beginning of the freaking level. Okay. Now, let me show you where this chunk is. Damn. Well, I'm looking for him. I don't see him. He's down here, though. Um, let's go get it real quick. There he is. There he is. That's him. That guy right there has two chunks for you. So I believe that's your second set of chunks.
trying to remember what's in this cave. I just don't remember. Old blood. I definitely hear a uh, a brain person, but I don't see him yet. Ken Cold Blood. That's a lot of blood echoes. Dead end. I really don't think that there's another uh, brain, even though I keep hearing the sounds that they make. I just can't think of where another one is. Oh, wow, I was out of stamina. I'm like, attack you bastard. It didn't want to. The Great Deep Sea, that is the last rune in this level, I believe. There's a lot of runes here, though, aren't there? Add all types of resistance. All types of resistance, plus 100. So that adds poison, frenzy, you know, fast poison. Um, all of those resistances... I don't know, I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but there's that other brain. That, oh! Alright, well, I'm not going to make it. That's that brain that I just didn't think was here. Cursed Tempering Blood Gemstone. We're definitely going to have to check that out. Wow. Alright. Well, that was an item, or that was an enemy that I didn't remember being here at all. Either way, though, whatever. That's cool. We're just making our way back out of the tunnel. All these items that we're picking up were from us killing stuff, I believe. Alright, and last item. Frenzied Cold Blood. I truly don't think that there's any more items to pick up. Oh, right there. Oh, Bold Hunter's Mark. Yay, because we're going to use one right now. I'm completely out of blood vials. Therefore, I guess we need to return and come back. I also figure while we're here, Welcome spend a couple echoes. Very well. Farewell. All right, I have 44 vitality. And raise HP plus 10, please. I'm going to take off the stamina plus 10 and turn on HP plus 5. So we have 15% extra HP and 15% extra stamina. You see the difference in my life bar up there from not having both of those and then having both of those? Big difference. Oh, wow. I've actually used all my blood vials in my storage, too. That's not normal of me. All right, let's get out of here and go finish off the Nightmare Frontier. Okay, so to take the shortcut that we unlocked... Um, well, hold on, there's an item over here that I haven't grabbed this whole time. You can drop down and grab it. Just more lead elixirs, which I don't really use anyways. Um, and here's this elevator that takes us back 
to the end of the level. Whoa! I'm so surprised he didn't die just now. That's just kind of weird. Okay. So, all the vials from uh, being poisoned took all of my vials, basically. They just drained me of blood vials. Let's go in here and fight Amygdala. Oh, sorry, that's a spoiler, isn't it? For me, the trick is get in here close quickly and hit in the face. Alright. Basically, wow, that's just luck. The trick is kind of stay at medium range, dodge these. You can get under her to actually fight her, but if you're trying not to get hit, then you stand at medium range and just kind of bait some certain attacks. One. Nope, that's not the one. That's not the one. One. Nope. Come on, Amigdala. One. Flip out for a second, dude. She's just not doing it. I guess I can start hitting her in the head. Actually, this will be a lot easier if I just unlock, I think. Here we go. That was what we wanted, really. Um, you can only really damage her by hitting her arms or uh, head. Um, if you hit back here... Oh, it actually did kind of hurt her. I'm surprised. I'm calling her a her. I don't know. I don't really know that, that Amigdala is a her. Maybe. But if you break that head, that's the attack I've been waiting on. If you can break that head like so, then you can land a bit for real. Alright, she's pissed now. Now she starts doing more attacks. Um, that's a good time to run in if you didn't get hit. You can uh, target her head or her body. If you target her head, you can just run in and hit it. Oh, unless you suck like that. All right, her head is healed now, which is great for us. That means uh, hitting her head will start over and we can land another visceral if we hurt her that much in the head. Good time to run in and hit. Should have done a jump attack early. Good time, run in and hit. I used to just run and try to get under her until I fought her in a defiled chalice and I learned you just can't do that. Or it was a cursed defiled chalice. Once I learned that you just can't do that when you only have half of your HP, then, then I, just, I had to actually learn how to fight her. Alright, now she's pissed. She ripped off her arms. Now don't let her use um, her range on you because now her range will really, really be bad. She can reach really far once she rips off those arms. Alright, she's dead. She's not that hard. Um... And that's the only way to get a Lauren Chalice, which is where you can find Beast Claws. Um, which is another weapon. Nice weapon. So that was Amygdala. Um, like I was saying, when you fight her in a cursed, defiled chalice, uh, you have to learn how to actually fight her. So that's how I do it.
I don't remember at all if if I uh, Welcome uploaded my battle with her in that back. cursed defiled chalice. All right, Fair. here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use some of my stuff that I've gotten recently, just cause why not? Once we do these, I should be able to level up at least twice. Welcome. What? Very well. Let. There we go. Farewell. Good. And we'll use the rest for blood vials since I did get low earlier. Now we have 34 in our chest as well as 20 on us, so I'm good on that. All right, so that was it for the Nightmare Frontier. I believe that is every single item there. Um, I hope you're enjoying my detailed Bloodborne walkthrough. Um, stick around. I got lots more to come. So please comment, like, and sub if you haven't. And I will see you guys on the next video. So thanks for watching.